Electricity. We use it every day and rely on it to power our lives. But, what if electricity goes wrong or acts weird for some reason? What then? And, what is the reason behind it when it happens? We get a lot of lightning here in the southern states thanks to thunderstorms. It's not unusual for a house to get struck by lightning. But, sometimes, strange things have happened after a strike. In the summer of 1978, the Parker family in suburban Nashville, Tennessee had been asleep for hours when a heavy storm hit around 2 a.m. There was a bright flash of lightning followed by a loud crash of thunder that woke everyone up. The power went off for a moment but came back on quickly. Everything seemed normal, at first. Debbie Parker, the mom, went to the kitchen to get a glass of water. She heard a noise in the family room and she went to investigate. The TV was emitting a loud static sound. It also had a faint glow about it although there was no picture on the screen and the TV was turned off. There was a weird ozone smell in the air. Debbie called for Rob, her husband. Rob unplugged the TV, getting a slight jolt of static electricity when he did. But, the sound and glow faded away quickly soon afterward. Assuming it was just static discharge from the storm, they went back to bed and tried to sleep but they didn't sleep well. The next evening, the family went to bed as usual. At about midnight, the parents were awakened by their oldest child, Anne, screaming in fright. Rob ran to her room and saw his daughter's room illuminated with a pale blue glow that seemed to be focused around a clock radio. Careful to insulate himself this time, he unplugged it and the glow faded. Once again, the family had a sleepless night. The next day, the family decided to call an electrician and arranged to spend the next night at a motel so that they could get some rest and relief from their ordeal. The electrician came, but he couldn't find anything wrong with the wiring. He suspected there was a short somewhere but he couldn't find it. He mentioned that sometimes squirrels chew wires in attics. This has been known to cause weird electrical events to happen. After a restful and peaceful night at the motel, the parents returned to the home after dropping the kids off at school. Going in the door, Rob was jolted by a strong arc of static electricity from the doorknob to the foyer light fixture. There was still a strong smell of ozone and smoke in the house. When they got to the family room they found the unplugged TV set had apparently caught fire, leaving shards of debris all over the smoky room. In the laundry room, there was a thin trail of smoke coming from the dryer. It seemed that the heating element had burned out. Several other appliances felt warm to the touch. Realizing that whatever the problem was it was getting worse, they contacted a real estate agent and put their house up for sale. The next day the family hired a moving company come in to pack and move their belongings into storage until they could find a new home. They decided to stay at the motel for the time being. Oddly enough, when the movers arrived a few days later the ozone smell had gone away and there were no static electricity incidents. Also, cleaning crews and the real estate agents selling the house never reported any problems or strangeness with the home. The house sold quickly, thanks to a low price. The new owners seemed very happy with it and lived there many years. What caused this electrical incident? Interestingly, science might offer us an answer. Sometimes a building can act as a capacitor after a lightning strike. The large electric field created by the bolt of lightning can induce a charge on the building's metal components. Once the charge is induced, the building will act as a huge capacitor, storing the charge until it is discharged. Kind of like a battery. The discharge of this power can be unpredictable and can cause damage to a building's electrical systems and appliances within it. This is most likely what happened in this case, although the Parker family insisted that the event couldn't have had such a mundane reason behind it. They have long suspected that it was caused by a curse or an evil entity. Was it science or something sinister? What do you think? Let us know in the comments.